Neighbors in a Pinellas County community are outraged tonight. They just found out the golf course they live on was sold without anyone telling them. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kay. Thank you for joining us. Uh, homeowners are concerned at this point about what might replace the links. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joining us in the Tarpon Woods community where they held a meeting about the future of this golf course. And Jed Keith, that meeting was very chaotic. There was a lot of screaming, yelling, interrupting, and even staff trying to kick somebody out. All of this frustration over unanswered questions. Bill Nobles grew up in Tarpon Woods, a community in Pinellas County. He says his aunt built the first house in this neighborhood and his parents built the second. We've got a lot of, a lot of connection, a lot of heart for the neighborhood. Later in life, he bought the lot next to the house he grew up in and built a home of his own. A dream that came to a skidding halt when he found out the golf course he lives on had been sold. Nobody notified me. I found out August 14th. So Nobles found out two weeks ago. We took his concerns to Kyle Parks, the public relations professional representing the new owners. So when was the property officially sold? Uh, two years ago. Parks met with the community Wednesday, hoping to clear up a few things. Probably the biggest one is that there are going to be houses built on the golf course. That is not accurate. But residents feel like they were left in the dark, and they want answers to questions like, who are the new owners? And they refer to Rain Private. But when homeowners like Nobles went to the Pinellas County Property Appraiser's website, it shows Jan Stevenson's Crossroads Foundation still owns the golf course, which brought even more questions. Why did you not report the sale to the clerk of the court or the property appraiser's office and continue receiving 501c3 tax benefits as if Jan Stevenson's Crossroads still owns the property? They, the owners told me that there have been concerns about that, and they said that if there I is bet. something to be rectified, then they will rectify it. So there are still a lot of questions without answers tonight, and we will be digging into who now owns this property, why the sale isn't on the property appraiser's website, and with all these residents pushing for change, is it too late? Live in Pinellas County, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.